Most of us love eating oysters. Oysters are good food resource and they are produced around 5.1 million tons every year for human consumption. In addition, they are also important ecologically. They can form reef-like structures which are very similar to coral reefs and these structures promote biodiversity. They can also filter the water that they live in, thus improving water quality. How useful aren't they? However, they are affected by us. Yes, they are affected by the sister problem of climate crisis, also known as ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is the phenomenon in which excessive atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by us gets absorbed into the ocean, making the ocean more acidic. Ocean acidification is very well known to negatively impact several marine calcifying organisms, including oysters, especially their shell formation. Understanding shell formation of oysters under ocean acidification is important to predicting their survival in the future and also to plan conservation strategies for protecting them from extinction and sustainable aquaculture. To do this, in my PhD, I grew Hong Kong oysters under two different conditions. One, normal seawater conditions. Two, acidified seawater conditions mimicking ocean acidification scenario. At the end of my experiment, I found that Hong Kong oysters were able to form their shells flawless under ocean acidification. When several other organisms cannot do this, how are Hong Kong oysters doing this? To understand this, we looked at the gene expression and found that calcium-related genes were highly expressed in the mantle tissue, the tissue that is important for shell formation in oysters. This study and this gene expression data will form basis for protecting oysters and planning conservation strategies. Wait, my study did not end there. I also observed another sad thing. These Hong Kong oysters, though they were able to make their shells, their shells were completely starting to dissolve under ocean acidification. Yes, the top layer of the shell was completely dissolved, thus making them more vulnerable to be attacked by predators such as crabs, snails, etc. This will threaten their life in the future, ocean acidification scenarios. So, how are we going to stop this? We have to reduce our consumption. We have to reduce our emission of carbon dioxide. So by doing this, we can save not only oysters, but also ourselves. Thank you.